Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I've made it out to Pagglesham to the wreck that's here of the old steamer that was used in the Second World War for a um, bit of a touch and go shoot to be honest. Um, there was several different locations that I was thinking of venturing way further outside of my local area today but unfortunately due to other situations I wasn't able to venture that far. But I looked at the tide times and it was working out really interesting to come to shoot this location today because as I arrived the tide was actually in and now it's actually receding which is really quite good. When I was here about a year or so ago if not more the actual tide was coming in and this time hopefully with the tide retreating it's going to open up some different compositions. With obviously the cloud cover as well today, it is still quite heavy with the cloud cover, but there is texture and detail in the clouds, and that's always key to try and pick out some of those details. So hopefully today will work out to be a really good shoot. Let's see what I come up with. For the first composition that I've got set up here of the wreck here is working out really quite interesting. So I've got the camera pretty down low onto the actual uh, shoreline here with a couple of these boulders and patches of uh, grasses in the foreground leading yourself up to the actual wreck itself. Now um, I've taken the image at f11, ISO 100 and 150 for a second as the base image. I've done a bracket but I've also dropped in the 0.9 soft grad as well just so I can obviously pull out some of that detail in the sky as it's working out really nice today. There's a lot of detail and atmosphere in the skies around this area today. Unfortunately, we had a lot of rain yesterday, which is obviously a good thing for the gardens and stuff. But um, yeah, it's just lingering that little bit more. But that's fine for landscape photography because when you've actually got plain blue skies, it's not really that interesting, I feel. I want a little bit of texture and detail in the sky at the same time, particularly as like I mentioned on my last shoot, I need sort of big skies around this area. And this hopefully will work out really quite interesting. But the image here, working out good for the first one. Let's see what others I can come up with. Next composition I'm working on, I've just made it a little bit further along the bank here. Again, keeping the main subject as this wreck, but turning the camera into portrait orientation. And I've dropped in both this 0.6 and the 0.9 soft grad, just so I can control the sky. It is very bright and the angle that I'm sort of looking at, I've got the sun towards the left hand side of the actual image. And that's obviously creating a very bright sky within this composition. But I'm liking the image as it is because with the reach of the lens, about sort of 30-ish mil, give or take on the 77D, I'm getting over the, the first lot of this grass in, in the foreground to a anchor point of the grasses, then obviously the uh, waterway, then the wreck itself and then the rest of the image about sort of pretty much half to two thirds full of the sky and hopefully in post processing I'll be able to really sort of pull that those details back out because we as I said earlier we've got some really interesting detail in the sky today and that's just going to add to these compositions and the images as well. A couple of boats that have sort of travelled up to sort of go out for a day's trip uh, today lovely but very still and calm conditions today which is really interesting really nice to experience very relaxing don't feel like I'm under any pressure or any rush to actually capture images so it's kind of reflecting within my photography I think today and I'm really sort of pleased that I can spend some time work out the compositions make sure that I obviously got the filters for it as well but uh, hopefully come away with a couple of images that I'm really pleased with.
For the next composition, I've precariously walked out along the shoreline here and picked a little path over to get a different composition of the wreck than I did when I was last here. Because the two other compositions I've got are very similar to images that I took when I visited last year. But this one, um, opened up a really different perspective of the actual composition because you can see quite clearly in the outline on the mud here as the tide's retreating the outline of the boat which is really quite interesting so i've got the camera still in vertical orientation got the 0.9 and 0.6 soft grad on just dropping it down i've staggered them a little bit just so obviously you can retain the detail because this is shooting directly back into the sun and obviously the, the dynamic range is quite significant. Camera settings, f11 as always, ISO 100 as always, shutter speed though 125th of a second and I've done a bracket, I've taken the filters out and done a bracket image as well just so I've obviously got that all there should I obviously need it when I come back to the computer but um, yeah it's really quite interesting now that you're obviously with the tide retreating you've got that real sort of detail you can see where the actual sort of engine house of the steamer was and now the actual shape and the hole and the wood and the decay and the rots which is really adding to the actual images here and um, yeah working out really quite interesting again what I loved about this uh, location when I visited before is that when you're looking out you've only got a very small band of the bank on the other side and all it is is sky big skies like I've said before this is really what I want to capture today for these images and uh, hopefully this composition won't disappoint So just sitting here on top of this pillbox, enjoying a coffee, watching the lovely wildlife around this location, and I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's been a really interesting shoot today. I've really enjoyed coming back to this uh, wreck at um, Pagglesham. It's really interesting detail and texture within the actual image, plus also the detail in the sky as well, as I've said many a time. But um, just to be out again, enjoying the nature around this area is really, really good. And um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching this week's video. Feel free to leave a comment as well, as I really do enjoy those comments. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. And until next time when I'm back out and about, take care.